Welcome back to Breathing Corpses. Right, we just tried to trap this zombie with that and he didn't, he didn't fall for it. Or rather, the traps <laughs> had already been set off and didn't go off again. Hello. Once upon a time lived three young siblings and their grizzled father. They all lived in a shack up a mountain where there was nothing but cold, obscurity, and infertility. Hey, do they mean plants or what? I mean, uh... The father grew used to the hostile environment whilst the three young men were tainted by civilization and began to seek out warmth, light, and wealth. Their time on Earth was still long, but their father's was getting close to his end. All of them were scrawny, their skin was carved by bitter cold, and their bodies were hollowed by years of hunger. The father kept a great treasure within the shack, something of an immeasurable value. But every time his sons tried to speak about it, the old man answered, only in my last dying breath shall I decide which of my sons is worthy of my treasure. Obviously, this led the sons to be suspicious towards one another. Each of them was desperately trying to catch their father's attention and earn his respect. Soon they noticed it was all vain, as their father remained untouched by that. The first son, doubting his abilities to inherit the coveted treasure, opted for a more aggressive way to earn it. He locked away the food, guaranteeing that everyone would die should he not be chosen to inherit the treasure. The second son chose to lock away the firewood, making sure that everyone would die should he not be chosen to inherit the treasure. The third son adopted the same method and locked away everyone's boots, guaranteeing that everyone would die should he not be elected to inherit the treasure. Okay, um, I can understand starving to death and freezing to death, but I'm not sure about boots being quite so essential to survival. I mean, I suppose... If the food is gone and the fire is gone, you need the boots, you're gonna, you know, you chew on the left boot and burn the right boot for, for heat, I guess. In the present circumstances, no one could survive for more than a day since the first son took their meal away, the second son took away their warmth, and the third son took away their boots. Should they go out to find food, wood, or clothes, they would die. Lying in his bed, close to death, the father remained silent whilst evaluating his son's decisions, and then he raised his head and smiled. I have seen what you all really are, and I now know which one of my sons deserves my treasure. He knows that he is the only one worthy here, for he is my only altruist son. The father died with a final smile on his face, for he was given the opportunity to die with all three of his sons gathered around, thanks to only one of them. Who is he? What? Is this a riddle? I mean, the one who took away the boots made sure they were all still indoors, right? Wait, I've got a cabinet key. Does that work on here? No. Even though this is a cabinet. Okay. We shall pick the luck. The old fashioned way. Third son, second son. Oh, it is a riddle. First son, second son, third son. Okay, so the third son was the one, right? No? Oh, am I supposed to put something on there? A note about the old man. No. The lad. <laughs> Drop a mine on here, eh? This is. <laughs> Am I supposed to drop something else? Oh, 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 right. The old man passed away one month ago. This is, this is the wrong thing. This is not the book. Oh, it's a zombie. Um, this is about the... the Things changing places in the chapel. Let's go. That's unrelated to the book. For some reason, my brain connected them. Right, let's try bars. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to put on there. Is 
I don't think the book really suggested anything, right? He was given the opportunity to die with all three of his sons gathered around, thanks to only one. Skulls? Am I supposed to put the skulls on there? There's three skulls. Is that the third son's skull? Let's take the bars off. It's a clue it doesn't do anything. I'm sure this this puzzle makes perfect sense in the mind of the uh, Prince Decay, the author. But I have no clue what it's about and whether it's important or not. Unfortunately, I have no idea where I am on the map. North-south oriented room. Well, I mean, it could be this room. It kind of looks like it. Also kind of not. No, this is not like that at all. This seems irrelevant. There's no other switches or something. Okay, so we've got uh, a thing about the. Make a note. I guess we come back later. If we can find the place later, of course. Oh, we could maybe get up here. Good water arrow, but I think I'll go unnoticed in the corner here. You seem to have lost your face as well. Oh, there's a ladder right behind me. Right, ladders are hard to use. Astral powder, okay. I'm good thing I looked across here then. I don't think I would have noticed that if I hadn't been hiding in the corner from that zombie. Hath someone come? Ah, we've got more hammerites. Hammer it all seems peaceful now. Well, we're gonna have the zombie coming back to us. This place mark. This has got stairs in it, right? This is a big room of stairs. Do we have anything that resembles this room? Not really. I do not know what my map is supposed to be. There's something over there. Nay. Never fear, I shall spy thee out. Oh, he's... Vigilance is our shield. Oh! Out. Hand. That wasn't what I was trying to do. More traps. Ah, here, maybe this ball is one for the coin. But before we do that, let's, uh, Heal. <laughs> Check more water arrows. Oh shit. Sure. We've been spotted. We 
What is a coin? Oh, it's giving us a boat. Okay. What's the boat do? Oh, it's lit the torch too. That's not so cool. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I thought that would set off the trap. Shit, this is not good. Not good. Well, there we go. Okay. Are those other guys still coming for us or not? No, I think they came because they heard the explosions from the trap. It's a little awkward when, uh, like... There's a lot, it seems to be a lot of these enemies. Like, occasionally, once in a while, we make an enemy that doesn't have, like, normal sounds and it's good. But there's so many in this map that it's just kind of like I don't know feels feels like it's overdone well let's get rid of them let's get them out of the way <laughs> Oh, this, that's the chains. I was hearing chains. I just walked up there. So what does this boat do? Okay, it takes me somewhere else. Ah, uh, somewhere I don't really want to be right now. Ouch. Just unlucky timing, I guess. So where am I? What does this say? Arastrus. Am I right? Annals. Annals of the way of the Builder. The Builder granted us the perfect tool to put an end to the reign of the beasts. He gave us the rotten sun so that we may bring light to the world that had been covered in darkness for eons. Always prepared for the tricks to the malicious tricks, the Builder made sure that only the purest of his followers are able to hold the Ember. Foul heretics cannot steal away the sacred light the Builder bestowed upon us. The hands shall burn to ashes. Okay. That's relevant, I suppose. Are you actually a zombie or are you just pretending to be? Or are you the purest of them all? Mm. Ow. You're... Do we give you the rotting sun? Is that... Arastrus? Are you the one that's supposed to carry it for us? This is so big. Hang on. Almost missed that. Okay, nothing here. Oh! Melting key! I... 
Prompt the fly, I think he was maybe a fire arrow. Apparently it's a melting key in it. I wonder what that's for. Okay, that's relevant for something. No doubt. Oh, I recognize the place up there. We've been up there. Okay. I don't know how this connects to anywhere else we've been. I don't... I wonder how you're supposed to find that melting key except by a random chance. The true air's vault. Alright. Keep, keep searching. That looks suspiciously like a secret door. Nothing else in here. It is a secret door, all right. Where does it bring us out? Is a bloody candle in the way? Okay. I have no idea where I am. We are... Is that a sign I can read, maybe? I won. He who disturbs, dares disturbs the dead sleep shall face the consequences. The rotten sun covenants to unleash its spawns upon the fool invading its sacred places. Be gone. Okay. Oh. into them face forward. Did you? You want to come and join the fun? What if I don't let you? Leave these parts where they're not in the middle of there. Ah, that's the rotten sun, is it? Oh, somebody dead. I think this is it. My journey ends here. I doubt Thales and John made it as far as I did down the catacombs, since there's still plenty of loot lying around, and at this point I'm almost sure that they either ran off or died. The place is nothing but a noose waiting for you to put your neck into it. To anyone who finds this note, I will tell you all I know about these tombs up until now, so take care! These tombs are not just old, they are ancestral. Think about it. How many machines have you seen on your way here? How many lanterns? The wardens were assigned to protect this place such a long time ago that electricity was not even discovered by the Hammerites yet. The hammers are handcrafted, and each room, each hallway is lit by candles or torches. The only place using modern technologies is a small outpost on the surface, right before you cross the tomb's main gate. And even that place seems to have been forsaken. Legends about the tombs are quite scarce and hardly believable. Judging by the fact that Hammerites never even mention this place in their books or registers, it must be their taboo. The poor soul who was supposed to guard the outpost from thieves probably ran off as soon as he could after hearing the rumours. As far as I know, two relics are supposed to be somewhere within the tombs. The description of the first one is quite similar to that of the Eye, the mystical stone from the Old Quarter. It is an ornate hammer icon, but it is sentient. It can cast its voice anywhere at once, and have you be the only one to hear it. And just like the Eye, it can float in midair and move freely, though that seems to be an extremely rare event. In more common occasions, it can be found levitating above the four statues below the nave. The second relic is extremely valuable. I must admit I did not believe in its existence until I saw it. It is a sun. There is a sun within these tombs, and, as unbelievable as it sounds, it is just calmly floating in the next large room you find, held by this bizarre structure. Even though it is a sun, it does not cast warmth over the place it is contained in. 
It's still the tomb's cold that reigns. The sun seems inaccessible from the ground. I do not think I've seen any doorways up there, but I see a platform up there. I tried to place a rope and climb up to grab the sun. I thought it was cold since it did not cast any warmth, but I was wrong. Its core is protected by a layer of the strongest fire I have ever seen, and it instantly severed my hand. Here ends my knowledge of this place. It's not much, but at least I'm sure my guidance will save your hands. Be safe. Uh, okay. Found levitating above the four statues below the nave. So is that, that the, the, the first icon, right? Uh, obviously the sun, we know we're not, we already know about that. You have to be pure, but okay, he says instantly severed his hand. He seems to have his hands, but okay. At least not a fake him, right? Hmm. <laughs> Suspicious, is it not? Well, it doesn't seem to be trapped in a way that it responds, sets off the trap by merely lockpicking. Well, maybe the bones are just decorative. Two, to build a gift of the first hammerites, one ember from his celestial foundry. This ember has put an end to the perpetual night that reigned ever since the first man was born. This ember was named the Rotten Sun. What's that? Why would the Hammerites call something that? that? Doesn't sound like a very Hammerite name. It's far more like a pagan name. Okay, this is where we came in. And it's bees. Bees for a head man. Oh, he's got good eyesight. Ouch. Thou shalt not escape me. Oh, there's lots of hammerites guarding there. Okay, let's move on then. Another zombie up here somewhere. Yep, there he is. You heard the noises. Got a new healing. I wonder if that is a healing fountain way back at the start that we could we could get if we could get, find a way back. I don't. This does not look safe. It does not look safe at all. Hello. We have a left bowl and a right bowl. And a death trap. I noticed the moment I stepped on that the floor was different. Okay, where am I? We just read that. Okay, so this is just before I fought. The bug eyed man. Bug eyed zombie. Let him go on his way this time, I think. He moves fast for a zombie. Oh shit. 
You don't want to be spotted by this guy. Oh, there's a thing on top of that. I wonder if that's wood. Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Indeed it is. Well, he shouldn't find me up here, but I'm going to have to wait for him to come down and leave, because otherwise... I can't get down. Where art thou, villain? You'll never guess. Bugger zombies down there too, still searching, I guess. I almost went down, so it's kind of lucky. I can't hear what he is doing. Except I accept his footsteps, of course, but. Okay, he seems to have gone. Do that quietly, which is lucky. So, where am I trying to go? Can I break this? I want to get out over the edge there. Oh, this one also has something. Looks like another holy water bomb. Maybe I should start using it. I've got four of them now. Yep, four. Well, we're in the bit that's labeled like it might be the run zone, right? Uh, right, we're here. We're literally on the stairway. Okay. Um, so this loot up high here. I don't know how to get to. All right, we got directions to the morgue up through here. Maybe that's where the zombie we're hearing is. No, he's up there. Okay. Sounds like he's gone back. Ten more hours. We're gonna afford to spend one here. Ah, more traps. Valuables doesn't seem to. What's the deal with this place? Henry, would you be so kind as to dispose of the thieves' corpses by dumping them down the ossuary as soon as possible? I'm sure you're busy enough with them more, but since I am in charge of the newcomer at the funeral home and have to constantly keep an eye on his actions, I can hardly take care of the matter by myself. May the builder take care of you, friend. Grave Warden Moira. Dump corpses down the ossuary. Every man is to work with a builder until his soul is ready to join the celestial boundary. Ah, so that's why they're not properly undead. In death, the body is preserved by the builder himself. The flesh survives for centuries, and the body remains sentient through time, thus allowing the dead to move to and from the celestial boundary. You should not fear the dead walking around, for they are still working for the builder. 
Before death, the man must recite every prayer he had learnt throughout his life, repent from all the labour he did not provide when the slumber won over his body, and forge his last hammer. This last weapon is both the weapon the fallen brother will wield to defend his tomb after death, and the husk that will receive his soul. The brother must smelt the head first, then, after one week of being deprived from food, warmth and water, he should craft the haft and assemble his last hammer wholly. Only the will of the man to finish this labour triumphing over the weakness of the dying flesh can make holy his heart, and let him fall into slumber until the builder needs him. Should a brother die before assembling his last hammer, he would be condemned to see his mind grow sick and malevolent, to feel his very body rot, and to feel every inch of his flesh boil under the shame he has done to his brothers. His body will wither away as long as the hammer remains unfinished. So is the way the builder selects those who deserve to enter his paradise. It's a pretty terrible way to choose them, really. Dispose of the thieves' corpses by dumping them down in the ossuary. Okay. And the thing about forging the last hammer seems like it might... Like, were these supposed to be the thieves' corpses? Or are they just random zombie corpses? I don't know. Why would you have fireball traps at the entrance to the morgue? Uh... Alright, so if we go up, we can go to the ossuary. We saw there was other stuff there. Uh, I don't know. Newcomer in the funeral home, and then there's the forlorn tombs. What? Where does this go? And this. It's our bug headed friend. A little uh, more cleanly that time. Okay, this just this just wraps around. This is just the passageway around. Did that tell me anything? It just tells me that it is the ember. Blah blah. The rotting sun. Okay. So we could go back here and get back to the boat. Six the other two, which I haven't finished exploring yet. Oh, did you hear that? Well, we could try sneaking through the Rotten Sun Chamber. Which is... Not necessarily going to be easy. I mean, I have a lot of tools we could be deploying here. Sound carries so well in here. See, now I need you to come out here. I don't know where the mine is. Oh, you guys are not solid. You're not going to set it off. This could be a problem. This is Thief 2 and I can deactivate my mines. Wow, it's noisy.
Although I'm almost dead, so I definitely need healing. Well, he didn't hear me. I see the sun brightens and fades. There's a bridge to it. Amazing that this guy didn't hear any of those explosions and stuff. I think he's coming back. Okay, so this way goes to the Forlorn Tombs, which are, I suppose, the area we're in now. He who has not yet received the Builder's words shall not proceed further. Okay, well, we have the same sun as with the red eyes that we saw in front of the two bowls back there where I was like, oh, okay, this is a left or right choice. Maybe it's not left or right choice. Maybe we need both things. Although this particular chamber doesn't have anything. Hmm. Could be nothing here. Find a key on that. He who has not yet received the builder's builder's words, son with red eyes. Maybe a coincidence to have the same. The same thing, it may not be a coincidence. He who has not yet received the builder's words shall not proceed further. I'm just giving the shadow out. My okay, my friend is saying the same. So it's the same thing here, builder's words. down deeper so this is which this is the south side you know I'm okay I suppose if I can climb up somewhere, it kind of behooves me to try doing so. Aha! Uh -huh. Hold you. It's not a good place to be trying to hide from anybody there. I also don't know how I'm going to get down safely. I 
is our hammer symbol there? That's odd. Thought that might happen. Uh, by taking my rope back, I might... This would be a good place to be able to use my ladder, but no. Oh, I bet I can stick the ladder on that panel, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I could if I was down the bottom. I may have screwed myself quite, quite badly here. Uh, unless I can, like, drop onto a note or something. Doesn't really work that way, though, does it? Oh, how, 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 having somebody to land on. Alright, I guess that's the downside. Alright, what I'm going to do, let's put some moss in this doorway. He comes sneaking out again and doesn't see me. He heard my uh, movement, right? He was patrolling out this way, and he only reacted because he heard my movement. Yeah. He didn't see me up here. Cool. So if I drop, drop on his head, I can get down safely. Hence the... Hence the moss. Alright. Problem solved. What is up with that? That isn't the place for the ladder, is it? Not a pressure plate. But it's a thing. Hmm. Odd. Hammer tile. I don't know what it's got to do with anything. Wow, very narrow passages here. No room for passing. Okay, so this is just the stairs down. So up on the other side, all right. And this is that middle area, okay. Hmm. Nothing, okay. Water. Well, I mean, maybe useful. Two, two more water arrows there, maybe one. We have this cabinet key, right? It needs to be useful somewhere. And the melting key. Oh, well, we haven't used any of these keys. That was the cabinet key. Okay. Hello. Secret room there. What's this? Is this book about that or anything? No? Just prominent book on top of the bookcase and there's nothing. What's through here? Um, what jewelry slabs? Let's check out this secret room. More 
Bolt arrows. Aha, another mortuary coin. Okay. So now we could put them in both bowls. We've got two of them left. If I can ever find those that room with the bowls again. Didn't put it on my map. Are you real? Nope. We have been having several problems recently. First of all, those pesky thieves won't stop invading the tombs, even though every one of them end up getting killed and tossed down the ossuary. Secondly, all the racket caused by those never-ending invasions has awoken the dead. We do not know how to soothe them. The last problem is not much of an emergency compared to the rest, but some of the families buried in here took advantage of this chaos to settle some scores with rival families. What is more, the newcomer behaves in a bizarre way, and I strongly believe that he's up to no good and could very well take advantage of the situation. Grave Warden Moira. Ah, oh, that's the newcomer. Thing you mentioned. Is that the newcomer? Sitting on the autopsy knife? What? The Pale Stone Burial site is the builder's pride and joy, and it is an incredible honour for any Hammerite to be elected as the next Grave Warden. The builder will remember your devotion to his cause and will be the one to welcome you to his paradise once your task is over. As a Grave Warden, you must conduct your duty flawlessly and make sure no intruder taints the tombs with his filthy presence. Any failure to respect the Builder's precepts is, of course, punished by death. The tombs are the resting place of your ancestors, so pay them the respect they deserve and do not disturb their slumber. Awaken them and you shall face heavy consequences. Before burying the dead into their well-earned resting places, you have to follow a couple of steps. First, you must remove them from their mortal belongings and put them in their respective chest or casket according to their desires. Then you must apply holy water on them. It will preserve their bodies so that they can both join the Builder in his paradise and fight to protect the tombs if it becomes necessary. Is that instructions for me to do that, or is it just lore? It's hard to tell. In a mission like this. That dumb newcomer is seriously getting on my nerves, constantly acting weird and being that jumpy. I get it. At first sight, the tombs can be eerie, even more when you get lost in them. But for the Builder's sake, that weakling is constantly bawling and quivering, no matter where he is and what he does. Upon his arrival, the weakling had this bizarre box with him. He kept carrying it around. I took it away from him. I know that tomorrow he will have to clean the warm embrace of the tomb. That place can be dark sometimes. Surely he will chicken out. Well, tomorrow is his last day on my watch. Grave Warden Henry will be his supervisor, and he is known to be a very kind man. At least compared to me. Grave Warden Alan. Bizarre box. Warm embrace of the tomb. Okay, so... Did I mark the warm embrace? I know I saw it, but... Ah, the south, near the south of this place. Okay, so... Bizarre newcomer with box in the warm embrace. Lantern. Can I want to read the book? What is the autopsy note for? Can I throw it at you? No, it's for using. On something. Now can I read your book? Nope, alright. Dang, well that got me nothing. Mouse was misbehaving again, that's uh you didn't put your weapon away properly bug. Oh, there's another guy. He was not up there before. That's interesting. Right, he's not seeing on that book. Am I going to be following a trail of shivering zombies? I don't remember seeing any other red books around. But it is odd. Hmm. 
This is the south side. So we've been all the way around, right? There's a hammer tile. I don't know, I have no I mean there's surely lots of stuff we can do, but this is all <sighs> confusing. We can go up to the ossuary. Or I can go back to the boat. You know, I think I'm inclined to go back to the boat for the moment. Oh, which is out the east side, isn't it? Bolts. It does not open. Who is the true heir? And here we have. Astrus. Some healing. Try to find my way back up to the top because firstly I need to refresh my memory of all the places we've been. This is where Flame Headed Man was, wasn't it? So to refresh my memory. Secondly, to see if I can get some healing. Okay, there's still a locked door here, south of somewhere. Covetous Carcasses Vault. Okay, we haven't been in there either. I mean, I looked at the sign before. Alright, we had all these key locked doors in these in the right quarters as well, didn't we? This is how we came in. There's a note I haven't read there. Oh right, I didn't come in that way, I came through somewhere. Don't remember how I came into this area, maybe through here? Oh, this is just flame-headed man again. Right, we definitely came from the south, because I remember coming up here and turning left. Do 
Did I come up? Did I come up these stairs? I remember being up that way, looking down here, and deciding not to come this way. We have, we have company. And I have been in there, but I don't think I can get back. Oh, right, that is. We can do this. Don't know if I can make the jump. <laughs> Can if I <laughs> cheat it from diagonal. This so this is a way that we came in. That's not gonna be any use up there. In any other sense. Right, and we came in here. Don't know if we went through that door. I guess I wasn't cleaning up as I went, was I? <gasps> and this is where we start. Okay. This is the entrance. So let's just go check out that font that was in here. Oh, right, it was down with this fella. Rather not make metal footstep noises what he made here, but. So will this heal me? Oh my god, it heals me to full. Oh, thank you. That is good. That is great. Okay. With that, I guess it's a good place to end the episode. He's going to investigate who's been using the healing fountain. Oh, he's not going to find me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you here shortly for the next episode we shall head back into the tombs.